All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we want to determine the power consumed in a series circuit. So in this case, we have a 48 volt source and three resistors in series. Um, to get started, what we want to do is we want to figure out the total resistance of the circuit so we can find the total current of the circuit. So that is going to be RT and the total resistance is just going to be equal to the first resistor plus the second resistor plus the third resistor because these are all in series. So that's just equal to 5 ohms plus 10 ohms plus 15 ohms. So the total resistance of our circuit is going to be equal to 30 ohms. Um, the next thing that we want to do is we want to take Ohm's law, which is V equals IR. And we just rearrange that for current. So we have I is equal to V over R. And we have our source voltage, which is 48 volts. And we can divide that by our total resistance, which is 30 ohms. And we're going to see that our total current is going to be 1.6 amps. And because this is a series circuit, that 1.6 amps is going to flow out of the battery through the first resistor, through the second resistor, and through the third resistor. So the current is going to be the same everywhere in the circuit. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to write out our power formulas and the three of those from the last video are P equals VI, uh, P equals I squared R, and P is equal to V squared over R. And we want to figure out the power consumed by each resistor, and we want to use one of these formulas that we have the values for. So we have the current flowing through each resistor, and we have the resistance of each resistor. So we're going to come down here, and we're going to look at that. Well, here we have current and resistance. So this is the formula that we are going to proceed with. If you had already calculated the voltage drops and you knew the resistance, uh, then you could, for example, then you could use this formula. If you knew the voltage drops and the current, then this one, if you didn't have the resistance. But all of them are going to yield the same answer, just depends on which uh, unknowns or which variables you actually have. So at this point, all we need to do is just fill in the values. So we want to figure out what is the power consumed by the first resistor. Well, we'll just do I squared R. So it's going to be the current, which is 1.6 amps. This is all squared times the resistance, which is 5 ohms. And 1.6 squared times 5 just gives you 12.8 watts. So that's the power consumed by the first resistor. Uh, we're going to do the same thing for the next resistor. So it's going to be, again, it's going to be I squared R. And uh, we're going to use the same current because the current is the same everywhere in the series circuit. So it's going to be 1.6 amps squared times its resistance, which is 10 ohms. And that's going to give us a value that's twice as much. So it's going to be 25.6 watts. All right, let's do the same thing for the third resistor. So P3, again, it's just going to be I squared R. Again, 1.6 amps, that's all squared, times 15 ohms and that gives us a value of 38.4 watts. So now that we have the power consumed by each of the elements or each of the resistors, what we want to do is we want to just find out what's the total power consumed by the circuit and uh, for series or parallel resistors it's just going to be the sum of all of the individual elements. So it's just going to be P1 plus P2 plus P3 and if you just add up 12.8 plus 25.6 plus 38.4 uh, we're going to get 76.8 watts. That's the total power consumed by the circuit. Now, in a circuit, the total power consumed is going to equal the total power supplied. So what we should do is we should also check the total power supplied here at the source. We know the source voltage. It's 48 volts, and we know there's 1.6 amps of current flowing through it. So we can apply this power formula, P equals VI, because we have both of these variables. Uh, to figure out the source, uh, the, the power that we're supplying to the circuit and just check to make sure that it's the same. So we're going to write this out. Again, this is going to be the total power, in this case, supplied, is equal to the, the source voltage. Sometimes people write this as an E if it's a source voltage, but we'll just write VT, that's fine, and the total current. Uh, so we have 48 volts times 1.6 amps. And 48 times 1.6 is just 76.8 watts. So that's a great check to do uh, to make sure that your power supplied is equal to your power consumed. 
All right, hopefully that was helpful. Join me in the next video, and we're going to go over how to determine the power consumed in a parallel circuit.